Okay, my dear students, this is in continuation with the topic planes. So, in my previous class, I have taught you the equations of the plane in different forms. Equations of the plane in the intercept form. Suppose a plane is cutting intercepts on x axis, y axis, and z axis respectively, A, uh, a B, C, then the points of intersection of the plane on x axis, y axis, and z axis can be given by A 0 0, 0 B 0, 0 0 C. Now, we will take the general equation of the plane which I have already explained to you which is A x plus B y plus C z plus D is equal to 0. In this equation, this plane passes through the point A. Therefore, when we substitute, uh, let me change this one other without loss of in generality, A x plus B y plus C z plus D is equal to 0. So, this plane passes through the point A. So, the coordinates of the point A will satisfy. So, we get A B into 0, C into 0 plus D is equal to 0. So, we get the value of this intercept A is equal to minus D over A. Similarly, the plane passes through the point B. So, the coordinates of B will satisfy the equation of the plane. So, A into 0 plus b into b plus c into 0 plus d is equal to 0. So, in this case, the intercept b can be given by minus d by capital B. And the plane also passes through the point C. So, the e coordinates of the point C will satisfy the equation of the plane. So, the e a into 0, b into 0, c capital C into small c plus d is equal to 0. So, from this we can get small c is equal to minus d by capital C. Now, one thing we can do from this we can find the value of a as minus uh, a as uh, minus d by a and in this case b is equal to minus b by d and in this case, this c we can get minus c by d and substitute the value of on in this equation a x plus b y plus c z plus d. Then after substitution, we get minus d by a into x minus d by b into y and minus d by c into z plus d is equal to 0. Now, we transpose uh, this quantity d to the other side. So, we get minus d by a into x minus d by b into y and minus d by c into z is equal to minus d. Then after cancelling that minus d terms on both sides, we get the equation of the plane in the intercept form x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1. This is the equation of the plane in the intercept form. form. So, if the intercepts are given let us take one question, find the equation of a plane which cuts up intercepts 1, minus 2 and 3 on the coordinate axis. Coordinate axis means 1 unit on x axis, minus 2 units on the y axis and 3 units on z axis. Then straight away we can apply the formula. The equation will be x by 1 plus y by minus 2 plus z by 3 is equal to 1 this is the equation of the plane. Now, equation of family of planes passing through intersection of the two planes. This is family of planes, planes passing through intersection of two planes, intersection of two planes. Suppose two planes are given, their equation may be in the vector form or in the Cartesian form. Say its equation is r dot n 1 is equal to d 1 and the equation of the other plane is r dot n 2 is equal to d 2. These two planes intersect 
along a line. This is called the line of intersection. Through the line of intersection, infinite number of planes can pass through. This all planes are known as the family of planes. As a family, in a family there is a belongingness. In the same way, these all planes have a common property that is a belongingness. They pass through one line. Therefore, they are known as the family of planes. So, there the equation of all planes can be given by r dot n1 minus d1 plus lambda into r dot n2 minus d2 is equal to 0. This is known as the one parameter family of equation of the planes. Depending on the value of the lambda, we will get the different equation of the plane. So, same the family of equation, uh, family of planes uh, can be given by the equation. If they are given the Cartesian form, then equation of the equation of family of planes passing through passing through intersection of the planes. intersection of the planes, if they are given in the Cartesian form, a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 is equal to 0 are given by a1x plus b1 y plus c1 z plus d1 plus lambda into a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 z plus d2 is equal to 0. Now, for every plane the value of lambda will be different. This lambda is a characteristic which is known as a parameter which gives the unique plane. Now, we will work out some questions based upon this. The question is, find the equation of plane passing through the intersection of the planes r dot i plus 2j plus 3k is equal to 4 and r dot 2i plus j minus k plus 5 is equal to 0 and which is perpendicular to the plane r dot 5i plus 3j minus 6k plus 8 is equal to 0. This question can be solved if we can solve using the equations which I have already explained you or without using that if we can convert them into the Cartesian form, the first equation will become x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 4 or x plus 2y plus 3z minus 4 is equal to 0 if we want to bring in the standard form and the equation of the plane r dot 2y plus j minus k plus 5 is given by 2x plus y minus z plus 5 is equal to 0 and we can find out the equation of plane passing through any equation. Equation of any plane, equation of any plane passing through the intersection of these two planes, say this is equation of 1 and it is equation 2. Equation of any plane passing through intersection of intersection of planes 1 and 2 is given by x plus 2y plus 3z minus 4 plus lambda into 2x plus y minus z plus 5 is equal to 0, where lambda is the parameter. Let us bring this equation in the standard form of general equation of the plane that is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 that by combining the like term combining the x terms y terms z terms this will be 1 plus 2 lambda into x plus 2 plus lambda into y then plus 3 minus lambda into z. The equation of the plane in the standard form will be 1 plus 2 lambda into x plus 2 plus lambda into y plus 3 minus lambda into z minus 4 plus 5 lambda is equal to 0. And this plane, this plane is perpendicular to the plane r dot 5i plus 3j minus 6k plus 8 is equal to 0. We will write this equation of this plane in the Cartesian form. So, 
this plane is perpendicular to plane r dot 5i 3j minus 6k plus 8 is equal to 0 that is in the Cartesian form 5x plus 3y minus 6z plus 8 is equal to 0. So, th this planes this plane as well as this plane are perpendicular when two planes are perpendicular the their direction ratios are also related in the same way in the my previous session I have explained you also when two planes are perpendicular and their direction ratios are a1 a b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 then they can be given by the relation a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0. Using that concept now we will get 5 into 1 plus 2 lambda plus 3 into 2 plus lambda minus 6 into 3 minus lambda that will be equal to 0. So, from this we will find the value of lambda 6 3 lambda minus 18 plus 6 lambda is equal to 0. So, we will be getting 10 3 13 16 19 lambda minus uh, 11 means it is 7 is equal to 0 or the value of lambda is equal to 7 by 19. Now, we can find the e equation of the plane by substituting the value of the lambda in this equation. So, now we will substitute. We will substitute the value of the lambda say which is equal to 7 by 19 in the equation in the standard form which is the equation number 3. We get x plus 2y plus 3z minus 4 plus 7 by 19 into 2x plus y minus z plus 5 is equal to 0. After simplification, we get sorry, this is 19, 19x plus 28y z 76 plus 14x 7y 7z plus 35 is equal to 0. Now, this is uh, 19x, this is 38y, sorry, 57z, this is equal to 0, which is equal to 33x plus 45y and plus 50z and 41 is equal to 0. Since the equations are given in the vector form, it is desired that the answer should be also in the vector form. In vector form, we can write this equation as r dot 33 i plus 45 j cap plus 50 k cap is equal to 41. This is the answer. Now, you are asked to find the image of the point whose coordinates are 1, 3, 4 about the plane 2 x minus y plus z plus 3 is equal to 0. This question can be also given in the vector form also. If the coordinates are 1, 3, 4, then its position vector is i cap plus 3 j cap plus 4 k cap. And the equation of the plane also can be written in the vector form as r dot 2 i minus j plus k plus 3 is equal to 0. So, the question is given in two different formats one is in the Cartesian form and another in the vector form, but the mode of modality of working is same. Now, how to find out? First of all, it is becomes necessary to comprehend the problem. Here, the coordinates are 1, 3, 4, then we have to treat this plane as a mirror. Then, the if you treat this plane as a mirror, then you know from your science also in the physics you must have studied in your earlier classes also the object is the when we stand in front of a mirror the image is formed behind the mirror at, uh, whose distance is equal to the distance of the object from the mirror the object distance and image distance is same that means the pr and suppose let q be the image of the point p, p this uh, pr 
will be equal to r q. So, we have to find the coordinates of the point q. Let us apply our logic. First of all, let us find the equation of the line p r q. To find the equation of line, you need two things which I have already explained you during the course of teaching about the straight lines. We need the point through which line passes that is already there 1, 3, 4 and we need the direction ratios of the line. Now, in the equation of the plane, the coefficients of x, y and z are 2, minus 1 and 1. They are nothing but the direction ratios of the normal to the plane. So, we can uh, treat this p r q as the normal to the plane. So, therefore, its direction ratios could be taken as 2 minus 1 and 1. Now, the equation of the um, line p q becomes x minus 1 by 2, y minus 3 by minus 1 and z minus 4 by 1. Let us equal to this be a parameter and the value of this parameter is different at every point on this line. But we have to find the value of the parameter at this point r. Right? Then if we take this e equal to lambda, then x can be taken as 2 lambda plus 1, y can be taken as uh, minus lambda plus 3 and z can be taken as lambda plus 4. So, let, let us take this coordinates of q b equal to 2 lambda plus 1 and minus lambda plus 3, z is equal to z plus 4, lambda plus 4, sorry. So, I will write this also coordinates for sake of better comprehension. In this case, now how to get the value of lambda? Now, this point r is a midpoint of p q. Since r is a midpoint of PQ, since r is midpoint of of line segment PQ, then the coordinates of the R can be given by of R R using the midpoint formula which you already know even class 11th also you, you have solved some problems finding the midpoints the coordinates will be given by x1 that is 2 lambda plus 1 plus 1 by 2 and y1 plus y2 that means minus lambda